Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. You know what this is. This is the Note 9. I, as you know, I was away. I work at Burning Man, so I didn't get a chance to uh, play with um, the, uh, the Note 9 before leaving. And so I finally got a review unit after I got back. Here it is. It is in uh, purple, pink, whatever. So... Um, let's have a look. Let's find out if this is a Snapdragon one or an Exynos one. Let's uh, take it out of the box. Uh, I did another unboxing just now, but, uh, you know, obviously being away, I got a whole bunch of boxes sitting around. So, it says Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You've got the stylus in the front, nothing really too much, a bunch of iMaze and things. Let's have a look and figure out what version this is. Um, I don't know... Uh, doesn't say, so let's see. Here are the specs. Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This is a 128 gig version, so it's got 6 gigs of RAM. We know that. There's a two, uh, 512 gig version with 8 gigs of RAM. Tells you what's in the box. This is an unlocked unit. So, without further ado, here we go. Ta -da -da -da. This is just a little cardboard tunnel. Uh, and then we have Samsung on the box here and nothing much other than a barcode down here and okay all this I may stuff on the other side so let's open this up I'm not sure which way oh there we go. it's this way so here we go boom ta-da another Galaxy Note 9 insert what's in here let's have a look well sim removal tool for sure there it is, and I guess the rest you have to open like this. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got quick reference guide. Get the most of your phones. It tells you what to do. Go into settings, select cloud and accounts. Add, you know, create an account on Samsung. They want to roll you into their... Uh, to their ecosystem. Uh, terms and condition, health and safety, we don't care, but let's quickly look at this quick reference guide. What is in here? Get to know your product, ask community, etc., etc. Bixby. Oh God, there's a Bixby button, of course. Uh, probably not defeatable, uh, but here we go. That uh, walks you through the basics, how to put your SIM card in, how to charge it, etc. Cool stuff. All right, but to the meat. Let's go to the meat of this. Here's the phone. As I said, it's like the pink purple edition. More about this in a second. Let's see what else is in the box. Got a divider. Got that uh, USB type A to type C adapter that they still ship for you to transfer your files over. I'm not sure this is available in the US carrier versions, but it's nice that they're still putting this in these boxes. It's a nice little adapter to have. And of course, there's super fast charge, USB type A to type C adapter, which is really quite nice. Um, this does have wireless charging, of course. You get the USB type C to type A, or rather type A, as you can see here, to type C, as you can see here, cable, right? You get a pair of earbuds from AKG. They're not cheaping out, which is really nice. I mean, at this price, you know, a thousand plus dollars, whatever, you expect that to be treated with a royal treatment. What is this? I really don't know. Some sort of little, ah, it's the little grabby tool to, and some replacement pencil tips for the stylus. Got it. And then there's something else in here. Ah, these are replacement earbud uh, rubbery things. You can see that. I'm not going to open this stuff. I never do on these phones because I got too many phones crossing my desk too often. But that's it. That's what's in the box, folks. And I don't think there's anything else in here. So let's take a look at the phone. Yes, it's a Note. It's a big freaking phone. The fingerprint reader is on the bottom this year, not next to the cameras, which is a nice improvement. I got... Uh, bunch of stuff here. I'm going to remove this cover. So you ready? Nice sound that made. And of course the IMA sticker is still on there. So I'm also going to remove that. I just don't like IMA stickers, especially paper ones. So that's removed. And now 
Uh, let's remove the front, right? You ready? This one made no sound. How disappointing. There it is, a bare note. And this says Qualcomm on it, Qualcomm 4G. So this is a Snapdragon 845 version, which is awesome, which is really what I wanted. Much better performance on the LT side of things with that chip. So, stylus, water resistant stylus in purple. The blue version of the phone has a yellow stylus, like a fluorescent yellow, which is really nice. This is now a Bluetooth stylus that has a tiny little microcapacitor that gets charged wirelessly when it's in the slot. And it lets you do a whole bunch of new things with the stylus, like trigger the button in the back or the button on the side, can't remember, to take a photo, for example, which is really kind of cool. Um, really, good, really good set of features uh, that they added thanks to putting basically a, a stylus with electronics and active power in it. So what's different from last year? Well, Snapdragon 845, this has six gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage. There's an eight gigs of RAM, 512 gigs storage version. Micro SD is still available. The big, big deal other than the processor is the battery. It's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery versus a much smaller battery last year. Last year, the Note 8 had a smaller battery in the Galaxy S8 Plus. This year, this has 4,000 and the Galaxy S9 Plus has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. So this is about, this is what you'd expect. A flagship should have the biggest possible battery, especially a big flagship, flagship like this. Uh, headphone jack still exists, uh, USB Type-C, mono speaker, um, primary mic, silo slot for the, uh, for the stylus S Pen, whatever you want to call it, volume rocker, the big speed button. Uh, on top you have that little sticker that I'm going to remove because it's ugly. Secondary mic, um, SIM tray and SD card slot in one. And then on the right hand side you get the power block button. And that's it. In the back, you have dual camera system, two 12 megapixel cameras. These are the same cameras on the Galaxy S9 Plus. The big one here is the normal, regular, wide angle, whatever you want to call it, camera. It has dual aperture, f of 1.5 and 2.4. And the optical zoom, two times optical, has f of 2.4. Both have 12 megapixel sensors. The uh, main camera is 1.4 micron pixels. The small camera, uh, the sorry, the telephoto camera is one micron. Fingerprint reader, LED flash, looks like dual flash. It's got the um, heart rate sensor there. Uh, that hasn't changed. And the front, let's turn on the display. This is a 6.4 inch Quad HD display. The Galaxy S9 Plus has a 6.2 inch Quad HD display. This is Super AMOLED with the curved edges, of course, all. I mean, this is the kitchen sink of smartphones. It has every feature you can possibly cram in there in there. You saw there's a notification light, there's an earpiece, there's an eight megapixel front-facing camera, f of 1.7, very nice front-facing camera. Uh, of course, the lenses have OIS on both. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Hi there. It's talking to me. I don't know why. I guess it's flexibility. It's a little weird. Let's get started. Uh, but let's get started. And I, I really don't want you to speak. Thank you. There we go. So I'm not going to pick a network. I just wanted to shut up. Um, oh, looks like somebody put a working SIM card in here already for me. That's kind of exciting. I'll have to, have to find out what they stuck in there. That's a nice little pleasant experience. Uh, so that's it, that's the Note uh, 9. The, you can see it's very squared off compared to the Galaxy S9. It's got very little bezel, even less bezel this year, but it doesn't have a notch. 6.4 inch display, Snapdragon 845, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, all the cameras, all the features, wireless charging, NFC, Samsung Pay, which uses a uh, magnetic simulation for the magnetic stripe on payment. Uh, everything. This is the mother of all phones. It's got everything you can possibly put in a phone. Um, does that make it a great phone? I don't know. I think it's going to be one of the best phones, but at the same time, it's also a phone that is an acquired taste. It's large. Uh, people like me, I don't really care about the S Pen stylus. Some people really love it. So it really comes down to what your priorities are. But you can't underestimate the fact that 
Samsung is really, you know, every year pushing the envelope by putting everything you put in, put in a gigantic, you know, masterful phone, right? So there you go, Galaxy S, no, Note 9 uh, unboxing here and uh, stay tuned for my thoughts on the podcast. Remember, subscribe to the channel, like this video. This entire channel exists for my podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com. I'm on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Overcast, Slacker, Stitcher, TuneIn, everywhere. Um, you should subscribe because it's a very popular podcast and there's a lot of fun discussions around phones and things. So there you go. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast, tell your friends, etc. And stay tuned for more. I'll have more videos very soon. All right. Cheers, everybody. Bye.